Hey guys, welcome back to Video Entertainment Analysis Group. My name is Josh, here with Shane, as always. Hello, I'm Shane. Uh, and we also have Andrew PlayStation here. Let's give a big round of applause. He's back. Andrew PlayStation. First time and in a while. Andrew PlayStation is finally back, and he's here with us to talk about the new game, Mortal Kombat X. The new game, Mortal Kombat X, it just came out. Yeah, it just I, came out. It's not old. Uh, it's not the. It's not Mortal Kombat Nine or just Mortal Kombat. I, I don't even it, know which wait, one. Which, which Mortal Kombat? Well, what are you talking about? Uh, there's only two Mortal Kombats. Well, okay. Well, there's the there's the first Mortal. Uh, let's go through here. There's the first Mortal Kombat. There's the second Mortal Kombat. Third Mortal Kombat. Four. Uh, Deadly Alliance. Uh, Deception. Armageddon. And then Mortal Kombat again. What happened? I don't know what. So it's just there's it's a. Just, and how do we get to ten? It's like the remastered edition, or they right. just. I think it's supposed to be. If it's a reboot, how did we we jump to ten somehow? Uh, right, I only counted four. So how did we get to ten? Yeah, I don't. Greg, right? Greg, Greg, Greg's here, right? Oh, uh, we we got Greg. Um, um, he is. I really now. don't actually. I don't actually want him in here. Let me just mute him. Oh uh, yeah, I mean he's not talking, so just fucking mute him. Yeah. Right. Uh, he was here, guys. So oh, he can, he can do it when we're talking about another game. I don't think this is his kind of scene. Oh, no, no. I think that, he's gay. I think he's gay. And speaking of gay, there's a gay character in Mortal Kombat that is a, it's a brand new, uh, brand new character for the uh, series, and it's a brand new stepping stone for the series. Uh, who wants to who wants to cover Kang Boy Kang Jin? I want to talk about King Jin. Uh, He's a very cool kind of character. He's an archer. You know, um, if you played Injustice, that game, the game that I, I, I did the eloquent job of the Batman voice for that review. I know you guys probably thought it was Batman. It's actually me. Uh, that He kind of plays similar to um, the guy in that game, Green Arrow. Kind of similar. He's like an archer, but he's also a monk. He's a little bit of a bad boy. And also, which goes along with his bad boy, is his unconventional sexuality. But it's pretty good that we have, uh, you know, a kind of progressive character for the new age, you know, a character that likes men instead of all these other characters like Scorpion with a wife or Johnny Cage with a wife or all these characters with wives. And maybe maybe sometime we need to see some man-on-man action here, you know? We need to get some male bonding because that's what Mortal Kombat is really all about, you know, male bonding. Male right. bonding. I totally agree, Shane. Yeah, uh, definitely. It's, it's a game that a lot of people... Uh, deem a bro game, but I mean, bros can love bros too. It's not just you know bros uh, and hoes. It's bros and bros sometimes. And I'm glad that Kang Boy or Long uh, Ling Jin is here to kind of take the series in a, a new progressive direction. Uh, and I, I know we always bring it up at the beginning of the episodes. You know, is this game progressive? But I just want to emphasize that. Um, you know, being progressive is probably one of the more important things a game developer can do in 2015. So that's why we bring it up, guys. Yeah, very progressive. This character's uh, this character's really good. All the new characters are a real sight. There's Terator, there's Devora, there's Shinnok. He's new. Uh, he new. Yeah, they, they, yeah, a bunch of a bunch of new characters that are pretty interesting. Well, uh, sub uh, one, sub one's a new sub one. Sub, sub one, the child of Sub Zero. Uh, you know, so. I you know I heard that there were plans for a future DLC, a new combat pack. The new combat pack was actually going to have the adopted son of King Jin. Uh, his name was going to be yeah Pablo Estevez. He was supposed to be a, like an adopted Mexican child. That's very progressive. That, that's that's yeah. great to hear. I'm glad Nether Realm Studios is you know trying to really drill this into our brains. Uh, with, with yeah, you know, and when's the last time we seen an adopted child in a video game, guys? It's been a long yeah. time. I haven't been seen a, that. Been a long time. I haven't seen that since WWE SmackDown versus Raw 2007. I um, haven't seen that like, since The Last like, of Us. You know, when Joel adopted Ellie, and they had some kind of weird, like, old man, old gruff man, and like, Ellen Page relationship. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, that, that's a good. That's a good mm-hmm. point. Um, Doesn't really count because it was on a Sony console, but I digress. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, we'd like to reiterate, you know, if you're f- yeah. not familiar with the show, Andrew PlayStation is the CEO of Microsoft. Of Microsoft Entertainment. Right. So he runs the Xbox end of things. The PlayStation does not coincide with, you know, the Sony company. It's just 
his last name. So, which is also another reason why he wasn't here for our Bloodborne review. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's a conflict of interest, and we don't want. Con- we, you know, we don't. We gotta want educate the gamers. No legal trouble. No. No, no legal, legal trouble. Tr- Look, we're all about progressiveness, no hate. Look, just because they call it the gay station don't mean it's actually the gay station, okay? Right. Buy, buy an Xbox One. And now, like, since we're bringing up all these new characters, uh, there are some uh, extra guest characters that are being introduced for the first time. Uh, like Jason Vor- uh, uh, J- Jason Jake- Voorhees from Freddy vs. Jason. That- yeah, that film, the film that he came from. He was also in the movie Jason X, where they went to space. So- it kind of ties in with Mortal Kombat X, if you think about it. Exactly, and I, I think that's wow. why they did it. I think that's why they brought him in, because there is the movie Jason X, Jason Goes to Space, Mortal Kombat X, you fight uh, in, uh, in space. You do fight in a space, yeah, you fight in an area, in a space. There an is... area of the space. Another, yeah. guest, another guest character, uh, Predator, from the Predator series, or it's just Alien vs. Predator. Did you watch the movie Predators? He was in that. Uh, no, hey. we're, not, we're not talking about a child Predator that you would find on... Uh, Chris Hansen's television show. We're talking about a big bad wolf. Ready, he's a monster. He's ready to uh, eat the bad guys. Yeah, he uses his um, his gadgets from another time, another land, and uh, he kills people with them. And it's going to be really interesting to see since we don't have any cyber ninjas anymore because Ed Boon just decided to take out all the characters. Uh, so I guess this is the replacement. I guess this is supposed to make up for it. Yeah, I, I suppose you'd have to you'd have, you'd have to take that up with him. I I, I couldn't tell you, but uh, let's move on to the last guest character here. Uh, it's Trevor Phillips from uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Uh, it said it's spelled Tremor. I guess it's a typo. I, it's Trevor Phillips. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean that it, the T R E V O R. It's Trevor Phillips from GTA Five. I guess they just fucking misspelled it and kept it in. Uh, Wait, of course it's a, you know, spelling error. Tremor, Tremor, Tremor. Tremor, I've never heard of that. Tremor, that's, that's not a character, Tremor, not a character in Mortal Kombat, okay? I've never heard of it. Tremor, Trevor, Tremor, Trevor. It's a, I mean, it's just... A you know, I like Tremor's wackiness, but we already got, we have enough progressiveness in this game, all right? Do we really need two gay characters? I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, I mean... I, I mean, I personally... I. I listen. When my son brought, brought this game home, I brought this game home for my five-year-old son to play Mortal Kombat X, and you know, I want my son to learn about fighting and combat and how it's a part of life, uh, and how it's a very masculine activity. Very, very. It, tra- it teaches you a lot of lessons that you know, a, a set of, uh, a, uh, a very uneventful lifestyle that a lot of children live these days. You know, just sitting on their iPads and you know, watching TV. I want these kids to know that there is such thing as fighting, and it's very manly. Um, but when I see characters that are gay in these kind of games, like Kung Boy, uh, Kung, King Jin, Xing Bing Ding, uh, I I don't want my son to you know learn how to be gay from Kung Bong. I, I don't think that he should be playing that. And I, I want these games to be progressive, but you can't let the fucking kids play. That there should be a. They should ask you as you select the character. How old are you? Because I, it, it, it just. Well, I was just saying. I was just saying that if we need, I just don't think we need Trevor Phillips because Kung Jin is already a perfect fit. I'm not. I am not the person to make an anti-gay agenda. And if your character, and if you are so worried about your son becoming gay and playing a video game. You should play a scorpion. Hey, Tell him to play a scorpion. I'm not. Or I'm not against gay people. I just don't want my fucking child to be gay because he played a game and thought that was how he's supposed to live his life. Well, I want my son to, to make his own fucking decision when it comes to who he puts his penis inside. I don't want any video game character teaching my son that it's okay to touch another man because I listen. I'm I'm leaving behind a legacy with Vig. And if my son doesn't have a child, if he doesn't reproduce, I'm fucked. I'm gonna be buried and dead and forgotten. All right, this is this is what I this is all I have. I need my son to find a nice girl and just fuck her and get get her pregnant and keep this name going. Well, this is where I think the conflict of interest comes back into play. Uh, I kind of have a more you know live in the moment kind of mentality, and whatever happens with league happens, and I think. 
that if we expand our brand enough, you won't have to leave behind a legacy because you'll you'll already be there and we'll be successful and you won't have it have to have anybody to carry the torch because your name will forever be immortalized. I, I'm hoping that you know eventually the way technology is advancing, I'm hoping that they can just put my brain inside of a a jelly jar. And you know, I can just live from there. I don't want to. And you wouldn't have to worry things. about a gay son, right? I just would be a brain in a jar. But you know that that's neither here nor there. Uh, we here I, at v, we're he, we here at Vig are you know huge fighting game fans. Uh, personally, my favorite fighting game, uh, Super Smash Brothers on Nintendo. Uh, what are you guys' favorite fighting games? Uh, oh. Some of my favorite fighting games are I don't know if you ever played Mirror's Edge, but that's a good one. Oh, uh, also, I, Anarchy Reigns is pretty good. You know, it's a pretty good game. I like the Dragon Ball Xenoverse game. That's a really well, yeah, good, but, it's I mean, a good it's, fighting game. Yeah, it's a good fighting game, but does it really have the social progressiveness that a game made now really needs? Yeah, I well, mean, you know, I understand. I understand. Like, okay. Josh's views are like they lean more towards progressive, and that's okay. I'm like the I'm the yin to his yang. I'm the salt to his peanut butter. But the fact of the matter is, um, he just doesn't want his son to be gay. You can have gay children. Have as many as you want. Go ahead, do it. Breed. That's what he's trying to say. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, it is. It's not what I'm trying to say, but all right, well, all right, well, go ahead, go, go for it. Well, <laughs> it is what you said. No, no, um, yeah. I mean, I don't, want my, I don't want my son to be gay, and I don't, I don't want people to breed gays, though. I feel like if, in order for our species to survive, it needs to be <laughs> well, you know what, dude? straight people. You know what? What? What do you what? I, I thought, I thought when we were coming back to vegan, you know, we were going to be a, a little bit, a little bit more serious about this, you know, not. No, I'm, I'm being around. serious. I, I'm, not try, I'm not trying to. Under, around, I'm not know? trying to undermine you. Okay, I'm just saying I don't want a fucking. I mean, you're taking it. my. You're, you're oh throwing my thing in the trash. All right, that's what you're doing. I'm not tossing anything in the trash except Kung Lin. Uh, I wish Kung. I could. I wish I could. Yeah, so you admitted it. You just admitted it. Good. Good fucking job. I hope Kotaku hires you as a writer. Oh, oh. well, yeah, they will. Okay, trust well, me. Oh, will they? Will they? Will they? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ask for an application. Jesus well, speaking Christ. of uh, paychecks, I'd just like to remind both of you that I'm the CEO of Microsoft. I'm actually paying both of you. Yeah, so, you're paying our salary, so I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, actually, I, I kind of just have to. I have to play up the moment like this so we yeah. still stay interested. But so I mean, I mean, we're still gonna get our money. I mean, yeah, I mean, of course, yeah, <laughs> we're yeah, gonna get our money. Yeah, I'm not really mad at you, Josh. I was just you know playing up for the cameras. But anyway, do you have any more thoughts about this game? I actually do. Um, so I don't mean to cut you off, you little uh, whatever. Um, you know, like uh, Josh was saying, he's letting his kids play this. Mortal Kombat is a kid-friendly it game, right? It is a kid's right? game. Why aren't there any babalities in this game? Yes, um, that's the the most important part of this game where you kill people is, the you most, know, the it, offset, I lighthearted like experience. Yeah, yeah. like, I, it, this game does not feel lighthearted. Even though they had the soundtrack by kids artists like Wiz Khalifa and System of the Downs. You know, right? guys, you know, guys. I've been. Um, I, I'm gonna come out with something right now. All right. I'm gonna. Don't worry. Don't worry about what I'm coming out with. All right. I'm gonna throw a little curveball at you. The whole. The reason why I have such a big problem that friendships, babalities, and stuff like that, something to alleviate the stress from this game is not in this game. The reason why I'm so. I'm not angry about it. I don't get angry anymore. You see, I've become. I've had build up the resilience of a Tibetan monk, also acting more like a monk myself. Um. That's why I honestly, you know, as progressive as this game is with its regards to gay politics, I don't really like how it betrays monks as these fighting warriors, because they're not. They're peaceful people. I'm a peaceful person now. I, I have turned a new leaf. Uh, that's why I, I want friendships and babalities in these types of games, because we reviewed Bloodborne at the other day, and, you know, that's the game that kind of just made me snap and just was like, there's so much violence in the world, and there's so much hate and carnage and destruction, and it's just, I, I want to get away from that, you know? You know, have a little, have a little beach resort vacation. You know, you know, you know Shane. Have a little fun, Shane. Uh, I think this is a great time for you, and I think this is a great uh, transition that you're going through right now. Yeah. And I, I have a game suggestion for you. Try playing Barbie's Dream House. <laughs> oh. Sweet sixteen, you little bitch. What, are you scared to kill someone? <laughs> 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 you fucking pussy. Uh. 
Ten out of ten. This game is the best game ever. We're not uploading this episode. Can you just can you just get rid of this? <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> you already got paid. This is going up, <laughs> guys. Come on, come on, guys. Please, come on, please. Uh, I, I think... uh, uh, you know, if you, why don't you if you suck my dick like the little gay boy you are, maybe maybe I'll cut it out of the final episode. <laughs> Shane, maybe you can buy the combat pack that'll give you the gay skin to it on fucking yeah. pack. You can buy the easy fatality since you don't know how to do input or, or, uh, on a, on a controller. Guys, can we please get, just get rid of this video. It's just been like, come on. Oh, yeah. I, nah, I, dude, mean, I mean, after I'm all I'm not that, getting rid of this episode. No, this is gold, okay? Like, after I'm everything after everything we've been through, it's finally good to see right. you, you at the receiving end of the butt. The shit. The butt. The speaking of shit, dude. Have you seen Shane's mom shit pics? Dude, oh shit, oh dude. I'll yeah. send them to you right yeah, now. Yeah, that's it, you put... Shit pics. Like, Shane, like, she, yeah. I'm, I, I, I was waiting for her shit pics. I think, yeah. I think, I mean, is it is it as good as I was hoping for it to be? Well, I know, there's, some, there's like a rare shit pic and there's like the common. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the baby crying again. There's your, there's your, there's your babality right there. There's your babality. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I give this game uh, X out of ten because it's Mortal Kombat X. X Xbox One, go buy it. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Shut, shut up! Shut, shut up, dude! Shut up, dude. <laughs> I'm right. just gonna wire your paycheck to Josh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, don't forget www.vig.us for all the latest, greatest gaming news. And you can make fun of this little pussy in the comment section if you want. <laughs> All right, don't forget to like and share this video. Mortal Kombat 10, one of the best fighting games of all time. You heard it here. We'll see you next time. All right, great.